male and female. Yes, Malians. Who just says that now? Ah, uh, we are plenty Malians. Hey! We are plenty. We are plenty. MBG, Abby. You see me? I don't have belt. MBG. What else don't we do? We know they graduate. <laughs> Master, we don't want to graduate. <laughs> Somebody say Malians don't have work. <laughs> they have work. We don't have work. Oh. We the Malians want to tell you our job, okay? Guy, what do we do, John? Jamisi. Fagbo Jeu. Eh? Fagbo Jeu. One. Chop Malian female. Show up, Russia. Okay. <laughs> okay. We wear brown. We wear brown. We wear brown. We wear brown. No, no, no. Our own Malians. We wear brown on Saturday. <laughs> All right. One more. I'm a Oh, Jesus. She said Malians have sex. Steady. You say yes. It's, you know. <laughs> Okay, so we, we, are, we are giving you our statistics. We Malians, we don't wear belts. Malians, we don't wear bra. Malians, we don't wear pants. Malians, we fag bojel. Eh? We don't get manners, oh. Mafo, we Malians, we fear nobody. So you see, because you decided to be a Malian, and you decided to go by the code of conduct of the Malians, you have said, I sell my future. And that's why I'm coming here today to tell us that. Biri, 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 like this is whitewash. Oh. If I were you, I will ask myself some good questions. Like I want to ask us today. Whatever you are doing right now, whatever decision you are taking, hmm, play it forward in 10 years time. What value will it have added? It's not, it's not a question of, I'm a Malian, I'm not a Malian. Uh, there was a fella in our days. I'm not sure a lot of you know fella. Oh, so you heard of him. So when we were growing up, there was a fella. I had my own elder brothers that were shrine gang. They would go to the shrine every Friday, like that, like that. Let me tell you the good news. Two of them, they stayed in Kirikiri for six years. <laughs> Yes. In that process, my father became very poor. My mother, if you see my mother, if they tell you her age, you will not believe. She sold her wrapper, sold her clothes, sold everything she had. My father sold two cars to be able to get these guys out of Kirikiri. It didn't work. Unfortunately, they were twins. Yeah, that's what Malian life does to you. They went to the club. Fella shrine, they went to dance, there was a fight. Olok Made, they packed all of them. They carried two children of my father. They stayed in Kirikiri, na play, na play, six good years. Imagine if you are in SS3, which they were actually, they were in SS3. When they got into those walls, they came out after six years. They, till today, they have not recovered. Because you can't find a place in the society. The people that you were playing ball with six years ago, today, he meet the doctor, he meet the lawyer, he meet the law more, or more gone to law school. He was washing a ball at the Kiri Kiri, show fellow to a yaki coni, a bow fellow kosher carpenter, any to mark me logger, or you could jump on way as at now. So I, I, am, I am coming as plain as possible because it's a pain and a concern that I've carried in my heart. Look at these young people. You're just being led astray. And because you are not thinking ahead, you're making all the wrong decisions. Oh, it is trending. It is trending. Sweetheart, poverty is trending. Joblessness is trending. AB is trending mega. But I know none of us want to be in those shoes. So if you do not want to be in those shoes, why are you making the decisions that will take you there? How many of us have elder brothers that have graduated? All right. 
That is for somebody who went to school, studied, graduated. But when you see the advert, they tell you wanted. Must have graduated five years ago. Must have a very sharp 2-1 or a first class. When you are malling up and down. Malians don't read, darling. So Malians fail out. So Malians don't have a future. That's what they do. Malians don't work, honey. So Malians end up as Agbero on the streets. And one useless another Malian that is high on weed and Igbo will drive that truck and crush a fellow Malian on the streets. That's what Malians do. And you know what? Because we all are Malians and we don't go to school, there will be no doctor amongst us, there will be no lawyer amongst us, there will be no teacher amongst us, there will be no nurse amongst us. So when that fellow Malian crushes you and they rush you to the hospital, Malians don't have hospitals. I am painting this picture as clear as possible. So that when you are telling yourself, I am a Malian, you know what you are telling yourself. So what I'm saying is when you're making these rascal decisions because of some songs that some people are singing, one person decided the course of his own life. He shouldn't decide the course of your life. Last week, <laughs> breaking news. It was all over the internet. I read it. Naira Mali came out to tell all of you, you can enjoy your life, oh, but don't throw away your future. That's the person you are following. Malians don't greet. How many people have you heard that Mali, that Mali has slapped on the road? Have you ever heard? I've not heard, my dear. Have not. Malians don't have manners, but you have not heard that he has slapped anybody. When the FCC came to carry him, did you see him dragging or you saw him following? <laughs> eh? He followed. <laughs> Mafo. Malians don't fear anybody, but even Naira Mali himself, he follow. You will say, I don't know the granny, because so she, oh, I'm sorry for her. When was the last time you heard something, they say, okay, there's a news about Naira Mali, and you open, and you see something good. I've not heard any. Is it that EFCC is looking for him? Or police is chasing him? Or they say he robbed a car? Or they say something, something. Okay, let's even assume that he's a celebrity. Is that the kind of story you want to hear of yourself? We agree that, okay, yes, he's a celebrity. Are those the kind of stories that you want? Who are your role models? Who are the people you want to be like? If the people you want to be like are not like that guy, then why are you becoming like him? I know that if I pass this microphone around and I ask all of you what you want to be in future, I'll hear doctor, engineer, pilot, nurse, teacher, lawyer, and all that. And what? Soldier. And Malians don't go to school. Malians don't graduate. Malians don't work. Malians have no manners. Malians don't wear belts. All of these professions you have called, you can't even do it without a belt. You can't be a soldier without a belt, baby. It's not possible. You cannot be a lawyer without a belt. They will walk you out of court. And if you have not learned to take instructions, how would you survive the high up? Malians are dirty men. And you want to be a nurse. You want to be wearing white. You will not wear bra. How will your breast be shaking inside of it? So you see how they don't even add up. They don't even make sense. So ask yourself. Malians smoke. After smoking, uh -huh, how many people have you seen that are chain smokers? Smoke Igbo, smoke cocaine, take heroin, breakfast, lunch, and dinner that have gone far in life. They are either down with cancer, or they have lung disease, or they are, being, they are, they are having kidney problems, or something, something must just be wrong. Is that the part you want at all? And it's not even as if you're not hearing. And that's why you cannot blame anybody. Because as bad as it is, my oh my, I want to sell coke to you. And I'm telling you, take, buy. But if you drink it, you will die. Will you buy? You're saying no. Don't they say smokers are liable to die young? Even on the packet of the cigarette, it is there. 
you, somebody will say it's not true. Yes, it's not true because you're not dying in the immediate. But you are, you are destroying yourself gradually. 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 And my pain is, by the time I read up about this man, his name is Fashola Aziz. And I was, I was upset. Do you know why? Because I understand that he's a graduate. From the abroad, self. And he's here destroying your own life. So it means that if tomorrow this your so-called Malian Oga now comes out to say, oh, I want to change. I don't want to be a bad boy again. I want to be a good boy. He will, he will just clean up, put on a shirt, get a very good tie, go somewhere and buy himself some clean suits. He has certificates from the abroad. He will get a job. And you know why? They will employ him fast. Why? They will tell you he's an influencer. If, on top of bad thing, he can influence millions of people, the moment he tells you, I have changed, bank will employ him. There's no company that will not employ him. Sure, they will employ him as a marketer. Because they know that once he coughs, plenty of customers will come. But the, those of us 